and liftoff of Osiris Rex. A little over four years ago, NASA's Osiris Rex spacecraft blasted off from Earth. Its destination, an asteroid named Bennu, located more than 300 million kilometers from our planet. Its goal, to learn more about how the solar system formed four and a half billion years ago by studying this ancient time capsule floating in space. We wanted an asteroid that we thought was rich in water that may have brought the oceans to our planet and also rich in carbon. We're looking for the organic seeds of life that may have led to evolution as we know it today. 10.2 centimeters per second. To do that, OREX would need to scoop up evidence in the form of dirt and rocks from Bennu's surface using a nitrogen gas firing robotic arm during a delicate five second or so touch and go maneuver. So this is a scale model of the spacecraft. The arm is extended in the sampling position. The tricky, intensely planned exercise was made more challenging by Bennu's low gravity environment. Since arriving at Bennu in late 2018, the spacecraft had scouted the boulder strewn body for just the right landing site. Earlier this week, it finally dove in. OREX has descended below the five meter mark. The hazard map is go for tag. Contact expected in 50 seconds. We're going in. We're going, We're going in. in. Touchdown declared. <gasps> All right. Sampling is in progress. Seconds later. We're safely moving away from the asteroid surface. The spacecraft did everything it was supposed to do. How are you guys feeling? Uh, transcendental. I mean, I can't believe we actually pulled this off. It's still unclear how much material OREX was able to retrieve. Scientists are hoping for 60 grams worth. The first images are encouraging. We're making contact with a relatively large rock, a little over 20 centimeters. Literally, we crushed it. Uh, when the spacecraft made contact, that rock appears to fragment and shatter, uh, which is great news. It's man's third visit to an asteroid. Japan has sent spacecraft to two others. This mission is also aimed at discovering more about how asteroids behave and move. Bennu has a 1 in 2,700 chance of striking Earth late next century. We'd like to go out and meet Bennu before something like Bennu comes and meets all of us. OREX is due to return its samples to Earth in 2023. Then the critical lab work begins. Could an object like this have seeded Earth with the building blocks of life? Enric Sabrandi, CGTN, Denver.